Jean de la Grange. Jean de la Grange, a.k.a. Jean de la Grange, c. 1325, April 25, 1402, was a French prelate and politician, active during the reigns of Charles V and Charles VI, and an important member of the papal curia at Avignon, at the time of the Western Schism. He was the brother of Etienne de la Grange, an advisor to the king and president of parliament. Biography a Benedictine monk, he was successively prior of Alancourt, then of Gigny, and ultimately procurator of the Cluniac order. He became abbot of Fecamp in 1358, and joined the council of King Charles V after having been in the entourage of Charles the Bad. Within the council, he was in charge of ecclesiastical affairs, but also was involved in financial and fiscal issues. In 1370, the king named him president of the Curdes Aids. He was named Bishop of Amiens 1373, then Cardinal Bishop with the title of St. Marcel 1375. Lagrange became a counselor of Gregory Roman 11 C. 1336-78, the French-born pope who ended the period during which the papacy was located in Avignon, France the so-called Babylonian captivity by returning to Rome in 1376. When Gregory died the following year, however, in protest at the election of a non-French pope, Lagrange joined other French cardinals in reconvening the conclave in Fondi and elected a rival pope, Clement Roman VII, the first of the so-called antipopes. He then convinced Charles V to support the new pope. In 1394, he was named Cardinal Bishop of Frascati. He was then cast aside by Pope Benedict Roman XIII, successor to Clement Roman VII, who then lost the French support from which his predecessor had benefited. He then joined the party of those calling for his abdication and organizing the withdrawal of obedience of 1398. Jean de la Grange thus entered into conflict with Louis of Orleans, but died before the end of the process. In his will, he desired to have two grave sites, one, to have his flesh, and to be kept in Avignon and his bones to be put into a casket at the Amiens Cathedral. Two sites are identified as his tomb, a monument in Amiens Cathedral, and his actual tomb in Avignon, which is an early example of a transi or cadaver tomb.